Hello there. Welcome back to our channel CK24. In this session, we will discuss MCQ question, which is related to science and mathematics. It is very important for uh, CTET and TET students. So our mission, making learning easier for future of the country. So let's get started. First question on your screen, you can see there. This is your question, as you can see on the screen, right? Here, which one of the following places is most likely to be by a cyclone affected? Puri, Mumbai, Goa, or Bandar? ये सारे जगह जो है कोस्टल एरिया है ये पूछ रहा है कि सबसे ज्यादा साइक्लोन अफेक्टेड एरिया कौन है तो चलते हैं आंसर में क्या दिखाता है पूरी इज द अप्रोप्रिएट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन योर स्क्रीन द चेंज इन सीजंस ऑन द अर्थ ऑकर्स बिकॉज द एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ इज टाइल्ड विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू द प्लान of its orbit second the distance between the earth and the sun is not constant the third the axis of rotation of the earth is parallel to the plane of its orbit fourth the axis of rotation of the earth is perpendicular to the plane of its orbit so what would be the answer let's see now the axis of rotation one one is the correct answer we go with one right here is the one so next question on your screen you can see which is formative assessment important in science one it helps in developing scientific temper in students second it is diagnostic third it helps in better understanding of science and fourth it is easy to conduct what would be the answer let's see now second it is diagnostic Obviously, it is a science subject. So, in science subject, exploration is very important skill to be know the further information. And time to time, it is developing now. So that's why diagnostic is the appropriate answer of this. Question. Next question. Here is uh, x uh, seven y by uh, six uh, by y y y. Here is the question is that seven y into six. That is y y y. So what would be the place y? We put the value. We get the same value of y in the product. So we have option you can see one six two four three two and four eight. So see the answer. What would be the answer? Let's see. That is, uh, I think that no. Uh, six is the appropriate answer of this question, right? So we can see that. Six is the correct answer. Now here. Four. Let's see. Not six. It is four. How you can see. Here six is given, so we cannot take six wrong. So Let's see, 7, 4, and 6. 4, 6, 24. 7, 6, 28. Right? And 2. What we get? 7, 6, 42, or 2, 44. So, answer is 4 is correct. Right? 
it is uh, in class 8 this question playing with number so the concept is very important to solve the such type of question so i hope you will go through the concept it is uh, the question it's not same for further examination so this is only indication the such type of question will be asked by board why are science fairs organized in schools? Let's see to help the students to score higher in their examination. It is negative, which is good. To nurture creativity and experimentation in science among students, it may be. Second, third, to evaluate students on the basis of their performance. Four, the prepare student for higher education in science. So let's see what would be the answer, right? So we can see what would be the answer. Let's see. Second is the appropriate answer. Second, right? To nurture creativity and experimentation in science among students. So let's get second option. So next question on your screen, you can see if two quantities X and Y vary inversely with each other, then which one of the following is true? It is uh, uh, related to direct and inverse proportion. So you know very well. Inversely means the product of x, y always constant. Right? So option having us product of their corresponding value remaining question constant. Second, summation of their corresponding value remains constant. Third, difference of their corresponding value remains constant. And fourth, ratio of their corresponding values remain constant. So what would be the answer? Let's see. I think that one is the correct answer of this question. Right? This is one. Yes, one is the correct answer of this question. So next question on your screen, that is, as a teacher, which one of the following do you find most appropriate for scientific approach to teaching? First, show the user of technology for teaching concept. Second, give project to the students. And third, let's see, third would be what? Ask the students to perform activities related to the concepts and fourth, Clarify the students about the concepts in the class. When you are going to apply scientific approach to teaching, so which option is appropriate for this question? Let's see that. Three, ask the students to perform activities related to the concepts. If you, when you complete your explanation of the topic concepts, you should ask the student to perform activities related to the concepts of the topic. So it is the appropriate answer of this question. Next, in a meeting, four upon 25 of members were female. What percent of the members was this? A female is there out of 425. So what can we write? Four by 25 into 100 percent right so let's see the answer uh, option having us 24 percent 16 percent 4 percent 30 percent so let's see uh, uh, when we cancel the 25 to 100 we get uh, 4 and 4 into 4 equal to 16 percent right so we go with the option number two let's see the answer is it correct? Let's see. Yes, this is the approach we have applied here. Total student 25. Out of 25, 4 is the female. It's easy. Multiply by 100 and divide by 100. 1, one by 100, you know very well. This indicate percent. It is the question belongs to percentage chapter. So 
next question on your screen you can see according to ncf 2005 good science education is to do life what does this means one science should be able to engage the child meaningfully second science should enable the child in learning the processes of acquiring scientific knowledge and third science should help in living easy life and fourth science should prepare the child to the world of work so let's see the answer uh, directly uh, so here is the uh, what can we write yes so is the appropriate answer right so next question a shop reduced its price by 10% what is the new price of an item which was previously sold for 500 so how can you solve it right what is the new price of an item so 510 means 50 rupees i think that 450 let's see 550 to 450 3 400 rupees 4 500 ten rupees what would be the answer let's see 450 let's see uh previous price 500 right uh shop keeper given the discount yani on 500 shop keeper given discount so 500 into 10 divided by 100 zero zero cancel that is 50 rupees now new price equal to what 500 minus 50 that is 450 i think that it is clear okay next question on your screen you can see which one of the following is not a quality of scientific attitude so option 1 curiosity to learn more two objectivity in approach to problems and three hard work and four open mindedness what would be the appropriate answer of this question let's see hard work it is not a quality of scientific attitude hard work is not a quality of scientific attitude next question on your screen you can see hari wants to teach the circular motion to class 6 student which one of the following will be the best method let's see activity based teaching third demonstration two giving examples whatever the uh, option three to it is the printing mistake so we can see the option for the discussion what would be the answer let's see uh activity based teaching will be the best method to teach the circular motion to class 6 student next question which uh, one of the following is an important aim of learning science option we have to collect the information of science content to imbibe the value of honesty integrity and cooperation among learners three to help the fellow colleagues in getting knowledge of science and fourth to get knowledge of science i think that two is the appropriate answer let's see yes uh to imbibe the value of honesty integrity and cooperation among learners is an important aim of learning science next question the continuous and comprehensive evaluation in science means what first more frequent test in examination sorry uh, first more frequent test and examination second routine activities and exercise to assess learning third evaluation of all aspects of science fourth summative and formative assessment continuous and comprehensive evaluation in science means i think that summative and formative assessment right let's see no don't go direct let's think about the question and then give the answer two is the appropriate answer continuous and comprehensive evaluation in science means routine activities and exercises to assess learning next question which one of the following is not a step of problem solving approach attempt to solve first second observation third drawing conclusion fourth visualization visualizing the situation 
let's see the answer observation one of the is not a step of problem solving approach observation never have to support the problem solving approach next question which one of the following is a step of analogy strategy in science presentation of abstraction second interlinking concepts third application fourth map similarities what would be the option let's see map similarities is one of the step of analogy strategy in science analogy can you say or analogy analogy is appropriate i think the next question on your screen you can see the longest stem sorry the longest snake found in the world is anaconda second bow third reticulated python fourth weeper let's see the answer that is anaconda is the appropriate answer of this question anaconda is the longest snake in the world next question on your screen yoga is done by the people in the world because why first it keeps people healthy second it increases hunger third it brings happiness fourth it is a simple exercise so one is the correct answer hunger never resonate bring happiness maybe simple exercise no let's see answer it keeps people healthy right next question on your screen you can see the vaccine for smallpox was discovered by <coughs> option we have robert kuch alexander fleming edward jina ronald rose oh who is the alexander fleming discovered the vaccine for smallpox next question on your screen which one of the following is used as preservative first option sodium benzoate sorry sodium benzoate sodium chloride ammonium sulfate copper sulfate let's see the answer sodium benzoate here is the formula given nac7 plus h5o Let's see. Uh, here is the NaC seven plus H five O two. Right. Next question on your screen. You can see. Yeast is used for the production of one curd, two sugar, third common salt. Fourth, alcohol. Let's see the answer. Alcohol is the appropriate answer of this question. Next question on your screen: Mitochondria uh, uh, related ATP. So uh, then ribosome related to which one? Fat. Second, protein. Third, vitamin. Fourth, carbohydrate. Ribosome related to protein. Mitochondria related to ATP. Ribosome related to protein. Next question on your screen. If the frequency of simple pendulum is two hertz, how many oscillation will it complete in sixteen second? Let's see that option one sixteen, option two thirty two, option three sixty four, option four eight. Let's see what will be the answer. That is a thirty two. Ah, uh, I think that ah uh, frequency equal to. Ah, uh, sorry. Ah, uh, if the frequency of the frequency two hertz and ah uh, oscillation, अच्छा. Number of oscillation always product of frequency and time. Number of oscillation. Let's see. Number of oscillation of pendulum equal to frequency. Into time, so that's why you see two hertz into sixty second equal to thirty two, right? So next question on your screen, you can see which one of the following metals burns 
if kept in air first magnesium second zinc fourth aluminium three, uh, sorry three aluminium four sodium let's see sodium is the appropriate answer of this question next question on your screen magnesium hydroxide is used as one reducing agent second anti acid third fermentation agent fourth oxidizing agent let's see anti acid magnesium hydroxide used as anti acid the next and the last i think that which one of the following gases burnt with pop sound like see one hydrogen two nitrogen dioxide three sulfur dioxide fourth oxygen let's see the answer hydrogen is the correct answer right so we can uh,